What are you most excited about with marriage? And what are you most nervous about? Who is going to be the flower girl at y'all's wedding since you have so many sisters? Can you guys kiss in a video? Here we go, our first kiss on camera, maybe. Just cast today. Josh is with me, and we are going to be kind of doing a update video. Um, a lot has happened since we've done a Q and A. My neck brace, got it. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my neck brace and my neck. Also, me and Josh got engaged. We're about to get married. Maybe by the time this video is up, we're probably gonna be already married. A ton has changed, and we kind of thought we should probably do like an updated uh, video kind of explaining what's been going on, what's the update with us. Uh, it's just kind of nice. So before we get started, make sure that you subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. And give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Yes, Josh has his Instagram up and running now. So you can follow me, just cast, and him. He's just Josh. Parker. And I told you guys that I'm gonna be doing a Q&A, so you guys asked me a ton of really good questions that I think a lot of you are gonna want to know. And I've never really answered a lot of these before because, I mean, they're new. So let's just go ahead and get started with this video. Well, I did get a lot of questions about my neck and my neck brace, so I thought instead of answering all of them, I kind of just give you the rundown. I do still wear my neck brace uh, sometimes, just if my neck is hurting, and sometimes it just like hurts. And that's probably normal after you get a really big surgery done on your neck and you get a lot of your vertebrae missing and it's growing back, it's gonna hurt a little. If you haven't seen my neck brace video, go watch that. Um, it kind of explains why I had a neck brace for a really long time. I mean, it's still here, it's still on me sometimes, but just not as much. And hopefully as time goes on, I won't have to wear it ever is what I'm hoping, but I'm glad I don't have to wear it 24 seven now. But let's just look back to the memories of the old days. Okay, I didn't know what that was leading to, but remember this time? Never again! I'm done, but it's good. It's a nice tool. Is this a tool? I don't know. Let's get on to some other questions now, more about the wedding, our relationship, some things that I didn't really want to talk about, but we're going to talk about them today. You ready for this? Sure. <laughs> he says sure. We're jumping sure. in. Here we go. So the first question is, how do you plan to spend your first few days as a married couple with Josh? So I think what we'll do is we'll just be married, live together, I'll try to cook some food. <laughs> I'll take some cooking classes. <laughs> what do you think? No, that was a question for you. Oh. So no. how are you, how are you gonna spend oh. your days with Josh? I'm gonna try to learn how to cook, but. Sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna try some burnt food. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else we would do. I think we're gonna have to do a lot of house stuff to try to get our apartment done. It's gonna be a busy time when we get home, but it's gonna be super fun to be able to be married. This is for Josh. Josh, what is Cass's worst habit? I really wanted to know this, so go ahead. I guess she shops a lot. It's a habit. She, we, we go in somewhere to buy something, and <laughs> we leave with 20 other things that weren't what we went to buy. Okay, it's when you go into Target. <laughs> Who leaves Target with nothing? Uh, no one! I do. <laughs> so that's probably it. Shopping's my worst habit, I guess. That's pretty good. It's good. It's for a worst habit. Yeah. Okay. Are you living with your fiance? Currently, we aren't living together as of this time that we're filming this video, but by the time this video goes up, we will be married. Yeah, we will be living together, which is weird and crazy, but fun. I'm so excited. Do you want kids after you get married? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do, for sure. Was it hard without Josh being there? Um, as most of you might know, Josh went on a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for two years. And was it hard? Heck yes, it was so hard. But I went on a mission too, so that helped the time pass. But yeah, it was so hard being away from each other. It was probably hard for you too. Yeah. It was, it was hard, hard, but it was worth it. Now we get to be together forever. We're gonna be that annoying giddy couple. <laughs> for a while, forever. Yeah. <laughs> Another missionary question. I have a missionary out right now and I'm dying. What did you do to make the time pass faster? So like I said, I went on a mission, but also some things I would do is I was a nanny. So I would work, I would write Josh letters. But one thing that I love to do was I would plan our wedding in a wedding book. That helped time go faster and made me like more excited. Yeah, I just hung out with friends, hung out with family a lot, ate good food, went on a mission, so time was busy. 
Next one is, have you ever snuck out to any event without your parents knowing? Ooh, have you? Have you? Have you? Have you? That question was for you. That question was for us. Should we both answer it? Yeah, they want us to both answer it. For me, one minute, let's ask Josh first. Have you? Maybe once or twice. What? Nah, just kidding. Uh-huh. I'm kidding. Oh, no. sure, now we don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if, if I, if I would have, then it would have been with you, and we haven't, so. Do you guys think he's lying? Ooh, that's a hard question. <laughs> All right, and the answer for me, if I ever snuck out, the answer is surprisingly, no, I why, haven't. Why, why is that surprise? Why is that a surprise? Because I feel like people would think I would, but I haven't ever. My parents, I just tell them. It's just more important to tell your parents if you want to go somewhere. Because then if you ever get in trouble or in a bad situation, your parents know where you are. Way safer, way more smart. Always tell your parents everything. Don't sneak out. <laughs> Unless you tell your parents that you're sneaking out. Then you can sneak out if you tell your parents. So is that sneaking out? I don't know. <laughs> All right, next is what are you most excited about? with marriage and what are you most nervous about? So this is a hard one, I'm gonna have to think. So I'll start with this one. So what I'm most excited about is, well there's so many, but one thing that I just like fantasize in my head is like holidays with him. I'm so excited to like, I don't know, have like good memories and like create them for us together, like being married and then for our future family. I feel like I'm not, not really nervous about really anything, but I'm a tiny bit nervous about maybe like who expects who to do what. If I like think, oh, he's gonna, supposed to do the dishes, but then he's thinking, oh, she's supposed to do the dishes. And then we're like, who's supposed to do the dishes? Okay, obviously we know who's <laughs> gonna do the dishes. Yeah, we do. Yeah. You. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh no, I'm see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm nervous. Uh, most excited for is just, to be with you forever. That's Yay. what I'm most excited for. Me too. I'm super pumped. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, not really too nervous about anything. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Josh doesn't get nervous about really anything. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too. When are you going to get married? So nobody really knows when we're gonna get married, right? Like we haven't really announced it too much. I mean, maybe by the time you watch this video, you'll know because we've announced it, but at this time of recording this, we haven't announced it. We are gonna get married November 2nd. It might be already past this video, but we're gonna get married November 2nd. 2019. This year, 2019. Good month to get married. I never thought I'd get married in November, but here we are. What was the hardest part about being apart for so long? I think in the last Q&A we did, we answered this pretty sure, but I think it was just not being able to be with each other and do stuff together together and all that. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like a general answer, but just we couldn't really we couldn't do anything together. Obviously we weren't yeah. together. Everyone else kinda had like a boyfriend of my friends and it just made me miss him so much. So it was hard. But it was my choice to like not date. And I'm really glad that I didn't. So uh, it was all worth it in the end like a million times. The heart is always way more worth it in the end for real. It's true. My boyfriend is on a mission and I wanted to know what was the hardest part about reuniting. I like this one because it's not about what was the hardest part about being apart, it's what it was the hardest part when you got back together. Mine was patience. That was the hardest part because I had all of these expectations in my mind. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be this fairy tale. We're gonna see each other. We're gonna like look in each other's eyes and then I'm gonna jump on him and he's gonna spin me around, you know, that type of thing. It wasn't like that, but it was like still really special. Like it was really special, that hug, but it wasn't like what I was expecting it to be. Um, so just patience for me was something I needed to work on. Patience that, or being patient with our relationship and not expecting it to be exactly where it was when we left. But once it kind of got rolling again, it was way better than when he left. What kind of theme is your wedding going to be? Um, my wedding probably already happened in this video, but like I've said a million times, ugh, the wedding is going to be all neutral colors. So whites, creams, tans, taupe, and then I'm adding a hint of burnt orange. It's like my favorite color right now, so I'm adding, I'm adding that in. So yeah, that's kind of the theme going on. It's gonna be like a fairy tale woodsy wedding theme, if that makes sense. Is that a thing? That's a thing. That's a thing, we, yeah. We made it a thing. Okay. <laughs> Next is, do you and Josh have a house yet together? We don't have a house, but we do have an apartment. We don't quite need a house quite yet. 
because we only have us two. We are moving into um, an apartment right now. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're super excited. And to go with that, you bet that we're gonna show you guys an apartment tour. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. You're gonna love it. Okay, if you had, I like this one, it was really funny. If you had to dye your hair one color, what would it be? It can't be brown, black, etc. It has to be like an fancy, exotic. fancy exotic color, yeah. Oh, I wonder. I already know what I would do. Burnt orange? <laughs> no. No, not burnt orange hair. Can't be red. What? It can't be red. So orange is like red. Oh. Uh, kind of. Okay. Uh, I would go dark blue. Dark blue. Dark blue. Because it's like. Please don't. It'd be like my hair color now, but like a tint of like dark blue. It would be pretty. I might do it soon. No, I like yeah. your, I like your hair now. So. <laughs> hey, I might do it. What would you do, babe? What would I do? I'm thinking like a uh, white. White? Oh yeah, that'd be for cool. Like a platinum. That'd be cool, huh? Yeah. Like a silver. Should we white. go blue and white? Should we do that? You guys comment down below. Should we dye our hair blue and white? Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling old. Let's go. Why not just go gray now? No. <laughs> what are your future plans? Greetings from Germany. Um, our future plans are to continue to do YouTube eventually start a family, and uh, live life, be happy. I think you covered just about everything. Get yeah. Get married, live Get married, happy life. save money, try to finish the rest of our apartment. Have kids and Have kids, build a house. Build a house one day. Can you guys kiss in a video? Uh-oh, I think Josh likes this question. Here we go, our first kiss on camera, maybe. I think maybe we have before, I don't know. I don't know, but here we go, all right, don't look. Did I cover it? One more time. Mwah. There you guys go. Honeymoon destination. So we are going where? To Paris. Paris, France. We're so excited. Yeah. It's gonna be so romantic and beautiful. I can't wait to see that country. Paris, France, here we come. All right, next one is, what was going through your head moments before proposing to Cass? This is for Josh. I was like, she knows I'm gonna propose to her. I was trying to like hide it obviously so she wouldn't know the exact moment, but I knew that when I took her to the place where we had our first kiss, she's gonna kinda know. So <laughs> I had to try to hide it and like the whole time I was trying to like hide that I was gonna propose to her. I was trying to hide the ring, did a pretty good job. And then right before I knelt down, I was kinda nervous actually, but I was super excited. I knew she was gonna say yes. I, Oh, he knew. He already knew. <laughs> so I wasn't nervous about that, but I was nervous just like, you know, Cass really likes every every special moment to be perfect, so I was trying to make it perfect. <laughs> you did a good job. Really good job. It was really special. If you want a dog, what type of dog would it be? Ooh. We love this question. We already want a dog. <laughs> We're not even married and we want a dog already. Uh, I already know what I want, and Josh already knows what he wants, but we don't know what we're gonna get for sure. That will have to be a secret, and you guys will obviously be a part of the getting a dog process, because we're of course gonna video it. You guys better stay tuned and see what kind of dog we get. Ooh, or what if we get a cat? Or a hamster? No, we're gonna get a dog. <laughs> Did you know he was going to propose? So this kind of goes off what Josh had just explained. I knew he was gonna propose, but I did not think it was gonna be that day. Josh lied to me and told me that he was gonna propose on three different days, so I had to make sure to get ready on those three days. Well, he proposed on not one of those three days, so I wasn't ready. <laughs> you can probably tell from the pictures I posted, but I mean, it was still super special, and it, it was such a good day, and it's okay. It's okay that I wasn't ready because it was just more fun and special and a surprise, so I knew he was gonna propose, but I didn't know he was gonna propose that day until he got on his knee, pretty much. When do you think you and Josh will have children? Hmm. It's a good question. We're talking about it. Yeah, we're talking about it. We're not 100% sure yeah, when. Yeah, we're not sure when. Maybe we'll soon. wait a little. Not, not very long. Maybe soon, but maybe not that soon. So you guys will just have to see when the announcement comes out, which is so weird to say. Probably not for a little while, though. Mm -hmm. Hope this isn't too personal, but could you possibly talk about saving yourself for marriage? We got a lot of questions on this one. And so if you know what this means, then you're old enough to understand what this means. We both did. We both uh, saved ourselves until we got married, which was our own personal choice. And I'm really happy with that choice. I'm happy that I, I've waited and- And I'm also happy. Yeah, that was just our choice and what we felt was best for us. And 
Um, it's kind of part of our church that we support 100%. Yes, we did wait. Um, are you still going to be on Not Enough Now since after you're married? Duh, guys, yes, of course I am. It's still my family, and it's still a channel that I love to be in. And so as you can see, I'm not in it all the time, but I'm in it as much as I can because I love being on that channel and videoing for you guys and being with my family. It's so much fun. So yes, I'm still gonna be on Not Enough Thousands. Are you going to change your channel name? We don't really know. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna change my channel's name. Uh, it'll depend kind of on the circumstances of the future and what we kind of decide. So that is a still undecided thing. We don't know. Was it hard to plan your wedding so quick or did you have a lot of it picked out already? I surprisingly didn't procrastinate planning my wedding. Planned it for two years while Josh was gone and I planned it when he got home pretty quick. Yeah, I've actually been planning for a long time but there's still like always things that you need to do and it's really busy and whew, planning a wedding is rough and takes a lot of energy but it's good. Who is going to be the flower girl at y'all's wedding since you have so many sisters? So that's a really good question. So I'm gonna kinda give you the rundown on who's being what. From Sadie down, they're all being the flower girls just cause I couldn't obviously pick one, like no. So Sadie down is being flower girls and then Lily up is going to be bridesmaid. Ken's just always been my older sister so she's gonna be my maid of honor. And then Bridger and Trey are gonna be Josh's groomsmen along with Josh's friends and brothers. Mm. It's gonna be good. Are you getting married outside or inside? We are getting married in a temple, so that will be inside um, of our church, and then we are having our reception outside, so both. How old were you when your parents started adopting? Was it weird at first? So I think I was seven when my parents first adopted, and when my parents first adopted Bridger, that was the first kid that was adopted, and it was kind of weird because he was my exact same age, but it was pretty fun. Like, it was fun to have an adopted and see someone that didn't come from a really good um, situation to come into a really loving family. It was good, but it was hard because, I, you know, I felt like he was completely replacing me and he got all the attention and that was hard for me being little. It was weird and hard, but it's so good. Like, I'm so glad that we've adopted all of these amazing kids into our family. Next is, why are you and Josh getting married so quick? Didn't you just get engaged? No hate. Okay, so this question I also got a lot of times, which surprised me. I am 20 and Josh is 21, so we're still pretty young, but we've been dating for more than five years now. So we've been dating for a really long time. We are so ready to get married. We have been planning this day since we were in like ninth grade. We're so ready and it doesn't feel quick to us at all. It actually feels a lot longer than you think. We feel like we're ready, but it's just up to every situation on if they feel like they need more time or not. Just kind of up to you guys, but we feel good about it. We're excited. How long did it take him to adapt back into um, the US from his mission? I think, so the first day that Josh got home, that was a rough day. It wasn't like I thought it would be, like I just said. It was really hard because he wasn't adapt. I mean, I felt like he wasn't adapting, but it hadn't even been 24 hours, and I was like really impatient and like, why aren't you just loving me and getting back into what we had before? But he's been gone in Argentina for so long, so oh, I like, I don't, I don't know. It only took to like the next day until it felt like it was back to normal for me the next day or two days, then it was like, okay, this is normal, this is even better than normal. But it took him only like a couple days in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, I think so, probably yeah. just a couple days. He was pretty good at adapting back um, from the mission. Yeah. This is probably the most asked question out of all of them is are you vlogging the wedding? Guys, of course we're vlogging the wedding. What would we be? We wouldn't be YouTubers if we weren't vlogging the wedding. We're gonna vlog that entire day. Um, so you guys get to be with us throughout the entire day, seeing everything that happened. You guys basically get to be invited to the wedding. We're glad you all can make it. Hopefully you guys all watch that video so you can all make it to our wedding. Is that cheesy? Yeah, but we're excited. So yes, we'll be vlogging the wedding and putting it on YouTube. We'll have a really sweet wedding video. So make sure you guys look out for that because you're gonna love it. It's gonna be really good, I'm really excited. All right, and that looks like it's all the questions. That's it for today's video. Hopefully it answered some of your questions or gave you guys a little update on us and our life if you cared about it. We care about our lives, so hopefully you do too, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support and asking me if I'm okay from my neck brace still. I still get so many sweet messages about my neck. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of the updated scars. This is my updated scar on my neck. Healing pretty good. Okay, Josh is gonna help me show the back. All right, there. Can you guys see? Is my trauma neck not covering? Yeah, you can see it. 
All right, guys. It's a really big scar. It will heal over time. It's looking pretty good. That's kind of what's going on. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Thank you. And we love you guys. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye. See you later.